This week, I'm taking a look at the car lock tracking system here. It's mainly a way of tracking your car if it gets nicked, but it could be quite a good way to check whether Mrs. G is spending too much time with the tennis coach, or to make sure that your teenager isn't driving like a maniac. Come to think of it, any teenagers watching this, you could use it to track your parents, so you'll know when they're on the way home. I've taken security pretty seriously since we were raided by car thieves a few years ago. They bashed down the door, grabbed the car keys and drove off into the night. It was quite frightening because we were at home at the time. And quite surprising really because we live in the sort of quiet English village where the theft of a garden trowel usually makes the front page of the local newspaper. Anyway, we've gone the whole hog and fitted extra robust security locks security lighting and CCTV. And when I bought my last car, I ticked the option to include a Vodafone car tracker. The problem was that the car tracker came with a fob which you had to carry around with you. It didn't fit in my wallet, you couldn't attach it to anything, it was just an insanely annoying piece of plastic I had to have with me in order not to trigger the alarm. And not only was it a bloody nuisance to have to remember, but it also didn't always stop the alarm being triggered. And every time it went off, some nice person at Vodafone rang to check I was okay. Within a couple of months, I was on first name terms with the telephone operator at Vodafone. After six months, we were expecting our first child. I lost the fob in the end, and I can't be bothered to replace it. But then last week, Carlock sent me this new tracker to try out which might solve the problem. And here it is. Now, one of the things I'm trying to do with this channel is improve my product photography and filming. Try and make the stuff I'm talking about look a bit sexier. I've ordered some seriously impressive filming gadgetry, which should help with that. But I tell you what, even with all the filming gadgetry in the world, I'm going to struggle to make this one look interesting. It's a small black box. It's actually blindingly simple to use this thing. You just go to the car lock website, enter the code that comes in the box here, then go and plug it into the onboard diagnostic socket of your car or your wife's car. Now the OBD socket is usually found under the steering wheel in the footwell somewhere. The problem with this car is that if I were to stick the tracker here, straight into the OBD socket there, it would stick out like a sore thumb. But luckily, the company sells this extension cord, which you plug in there, and you can just feed it round the back. I've taken the cover off here, so just plug it in there. And then Carlock says, you just need to go for a short drive to get it all working. Now they say that this thing will normally be up and running in about five minutes, but it can take up to 24 hours before it starts sending location data. They also say that in the first couple of days, you can experience delays in the location updates whilst the system settles down. Once you've installed the tracker, the next thing is to download the Carlock app. Now, Carlock tells me that it gets asked all the time about the difference between a tracker and the Apple AirTag. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I've bought one of those too, and I've popped it in the glove department in the car. So now Mrs. G is bugged to within an inch of her life and all we have to do is wait until she heads off. Ah, there she goes. You'll note I've deployed the drone too. You can never be too careful. Now let's see what the app shows. There we go. Mrs. G has arrived at the supermarket. If I switch to the Apple AirTag, that too is showing that the car is in the car park at Sainsbury's. But there are some important differences. The air tag here doesn't keep any tracking information. It just tells you where the tag was last seen by an iPhone. 
And more importantly, the AirTag is actually reliant on being seen by an iPhone, and if there are none within a few hundred feet, it can't tell you where it is. Now that might not be a problem in a big city, where there are lots of iPhones milling about, but in the countryside you could be waiting hours or even days for a location update. The car lock, on the other hand, sends the data via the mobile phone network, so as long as there's a signal, it'll work. Lastly, in order to prevent their use as tracking devices, Apple AirTags here warn iPhone users that they're near a tag. So really, these air tags are only helpful for locating lost things. And even then, I think the Tile Key Finder works rather better. I'll put a link to my review of the Tile Key Finder up there. Or is it up there? I forget which. Ah, there we go. It looks like my wife's on the move again. And it's updating the position about every minute or so. And look, she's halfway home and the AirTag still thinks it's in the supermarket. So, all in all, I was really impressed with how easy the car lock is oop, to set up and install and how well it works as a tracking device. As a security device, though, it's flawed by the ease with which a thief could find and disable it. But there is a solution for that. Carlock also sells a power adapter, so you can have it wired into your car's power supply somewhere where it won't be seen. That's what I'm going to do. It's not expensive. Alternatively, for people in the UK, there is another, cheaper model called the Car Basic, which is actually designed to be hidden in the engine bay somewhere. Oh, one other thing. The alerts this thing sends are not overly intrusive. It's not like being rung by Vodafone and asked for your password every time you get in the car. And you can configure which alerts you want to get. But if you want, you can also buy a CarLock Bluetooth tag. Stick it in your car and that'll disarm the alerts when it's you behind the wheel. Price-wise, this is not expensive to install and the annual subscription is less than I was paying to be annoyed by Vodafone. So I think it's a bargain. Still, if you want a few quid off, Carlock is offering 10% off for anyone who's watched this review. I'll put the details and a link in the description below. If you know anyone who needs to keep tabs on their wife, or their husband, or their child, or a parent, you might like to share this film. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.